What are we gonna do with first? How are we gonna how think, are we gonna take care of this? I think we'll start with the I'll show you the retro block. And this controller connects with four different modes. So I have to use switch mode. So if you start start Y switch mode, start X as uh, Xbox mode or PC, start A as Mac and iOS mode and connected. So we can click in here and then you can see the different systems that you can play on this thing. Windows 64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Thomas Wave, Sega Master System, Genesis, Game Gear, 32X, just... And this is this is all on the uh, on the box with the eyeballs. Right. It says GT King down there. The GT That's... King is what you call it. <laughs> the GT... Now, is that your own name, or is that the name that they have it, that, that they, they uh, the developer, or the, the, the uh, manufacturer had made for name. it? Yeah. Okay. And all they right. even have a GT King Pro, but I didn't like it because it doesn't have the AV out, in case I want to hook it up to an old TV. <laughs> so I got this one because the benefits weren't that it. high. I was like, eh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, I love that this thing plays up to like Dreamcast, PlayStation, PSP. Great. Wow, and it's all right there. You don't have to worry about downloading anything or connecting to the internet or anything. You just have it all downloaded right. and, so and put in this. So you just take little... this box to a friend's place and just start gaming. That's awesome. And I mean Bluetooth right now, but you can also connect a wire if you want like absolutely no latency at all for these old games. Yeah. So, and then you can put like favorites and even like your two player game collection, your four player game collection, things like that. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. So what was the last game that you played? I see that there's a whole section on uh, last game played or something like that, wasn't there? Yeah, last yeah. played. A Beetle Adventure Racing for the N64. And how did that run? Really well. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Really and so in this screen, you see a little video of a, the game and a description and some stats as well. You see, I played it for 54 minutes total. <laughs> <laughs> I played it that much. So with all these different games, mm -hmm. I see you have just on the last played, you've got, what is that, 5, 10, there's 12 of them there. Yeah. Uh, what is your average play time? It's not that high, because I've played just like tons of stuff. Um, the Logic Pro might be what we played the most. So she and I played this a lot. Is that a Minesweeper game? It's... It's a paint by numbers, but okay. it has some similar similarities to Minesweeper. Interesting. It's like here, you see, it's two five. That means there's two blocks followed by five blocks somewhere in the line. Okay. But you could start like here at the line of ten. It means that ten blocks, so you know the whole line is ten. Okay. So yeah, it's a matter of just going through and and trying to right? now see a lot. Of, I'm sure a lot of people that are looking at this, they're probably wondering, but can you play? Can you play uh, Goldeneye? Yes. It plays Goldeneye. Can you I've play played it before. four players? <laughs> yeah. You yeah? Four players, yeah. Wow. I don't think there's a limit, because there's, so like, for example... There's no Golden play golden eye player limit? No, I mean on the box itself. Oh, okay, I got you. Well, one thing I want to do someday is there's... Um, NBA Jam. Oh, I love Saturn that. Saturn Bomberman, which is a 10-player mode, which I want to That's a... someday hook up. Well, I mean, right now it's a bit hard to get people together. Yeah, totally. Yeah, <laughs> and the Saturn, there was no, there was no internet connection available for that. Or was there a dial-up modem at some point? I think that was the first console that started having internet. Did it? Yeah. I had a Saturn way back when, but I couldn't mm -hmm. remember. I didn't have that. <laughs> yeah. So it had a multi-tap, which would let you connect um, multiple players. Yeah. So you could plug this in, two of them into each port, and each one would support five players. So you, that's how you played the ten-player. Saturn Bomberman. That's crazy. So there'd be <laughs> there would be four players that would be using one controller. No, no, you hook ten controllers up to it. Dude, that's nuts. <laughs> that's nuts. nuts. <laughs> I've heard of retro parties where like that's the big event is like that would be somebody awesome. Somebody sets up Saturn Bomberman. Yeah.